In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to calculate the week-over-week -week change of the last complete week. This came up from Hash, one of my former data school students. Let me start by demonstrating the problem. Let's put order date in the rows, expand it out to months and days, and then I'm going to go ahead and change quarters to, uh, let's see, let's change this to week number. And then let's expand the month out to days. Okay, let's rearrange things a bit here. Okay, there we go. And what you can see is down uh, on the week of December, uh, uh, the, the last week of December, you can see it's only a three-day week. It's not a complete week. We only want to show sales for weeks that have, that have uh, been through Sunday. So let me clean up the view a little bit here. And let's, we've got year and week number. And let's go ahead and put sales on the table. And you can see my, my sales for each week. That's great. And then from there, what I want to do is I want to calculate the completed week sales. So I'm going to go ahead and do create calculated field. And I'm going to call this completed week sales. And my calculation is going to look something like this. If the window max of the max date part, and we're going to look at the weekday level of order date. So this is just going to return the, the date part, the, basically the day number. If that's equal to 7, so let's see, 1, 2, so we're going to say if that's equal to 7, uh, then, uh, or I'm sorry, I think I've got this in the wrong place here, we're going to say equal to 7, then I want to return the running sum of the sum of sales. And this is basically going to give me a running total within each week and end. All right, so what does this look like? Let's go ahead and throw completed weeks in the view as well. And I'm going to rearrange my pills. And what I want to do now is I want this to compute using, and I'm going to set this to compute using every cell. And you can see week 53 becomes blank because it's not a completed week. And you see there should be a couple more blanks up here somewhere else. So here we go, week 53. So there you go. So we only want to calculate the week over week change for completed weeks. All right. So the next thing I need to do is I need to calculate the previous week sales. So I'm going to create another calculated field. And I'll call this uh, previous week. Oops sales. And this is simply just going to be a lookup. So I'm going to do a lookup of completed week sales, and I'm going to do minus one to go backwards one in the calculation. Okay, so let's put previous week sales on the measure name on the measure value shelf. And I need to edit this table calculation. And I want my completed weeks to calculate by cell, that's correct. And then I want my previous week sales to calculate at the order date level. Hit OK. And now you can see it's basically offsetting by one row. OK, so now that I've got those two, I can calculate my week over week. So we'll do another calculated field and call this week over week. And this is just simply going to be completed week sales minus previous week sales. Hit OK. And let's go ahead and put that on the measure value shelf. And I could do this in, in probably fewer calculations, but I just wanted to walk you through sort of how I think through the problem. And I'm going to go ahead and set my compute using for completed weeks to sell, that's correct. And then for previous weeks, it's order date. Okay, great. All right, and you can see we've got the week over week change for just the completed weeks. And then from there, I'm gonna do one more calculation and I'm gonna call this my week over week percent because I want to do the percent change and this is simply going to be week over week divided by previous week sales hit OK and let me go ahead and set the default format for that one default properties number format and I'll set it to one decimal place I'm going to go ahead and put that in the measure value shelf as well and just double check that my table calculation is calculating the way I expect so completed weeks is by cell previous week by order date, perfect. 
Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to find, uh, we need to just return a single value. We only want to return 86.1 because that's our, our last complete week. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to create another calculated field. And I'm going to call this latest week over week percent. And what I'm going to do here is, and again, this there may be a simpler way to do this, but I want to walk you through how I'm thinking about it. What I want to do is I want to say if my week over week percent, uh, or I want to do if is null, week over week percent, and I'm on the last row, that's what last equals zero does, then I want to look up my uh, week over week percent and go backwards one, else just give me week over week percent, end. Okay, so again, this is, is basically saying if that cell is null and I'm on the last record, then go ahead and, and uh, look backwards one week. Otherwise, just give me the value. Okay, so let's hit OK. And let's put this into the uh, measure value shelf. And I need to fix my, my uh, table calculation. So week over week is going to be by order date. Let's hit Apply and make sure that gives us what we're looking for. Okay, not quite. I think actually this needs to be probably at the, oops, let's see. Let's make sure these are correct. That one is correct. Previous week is correct. And this one actually should probably be at the cell level. Let's hit OK. And uh, there we go. No, we want to do it by order date. OK, so from this point, we're going to uh, format this table calculation. And I'm going to set it to 1%. And you can see that on my last row, it's giving me 86.1. So from this point, what I want to do is I want to um, go ahead and uh, just look at my last row. So I'm going to create one more calculated field, call it last. And I'm just going to say last equals zero. Hit OK. And I'm going to, uh, let's go ahead and put that on the rows. I like putting it on rows to make sure it's calculating right. And you can see that this is, uh, we want to do by order date. And you can see that that is true. So my last one's true. So I want to go ahead and filter this to keep just my trues. And now I've got just my last row. So I can go ahead and remove the last from the view. And I'm going to take order date and week of, uh, I'm sorry, year and week of order date and put those onto the detail shelf. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the other items from the measure value shelf. And I'm left with my single percentage. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, a lot of table calculations in there. And it'd be great if, uh, if somebody knows a simpler way to do this, I'd be I'm all ears. Just leave a comment. Have a great day.